If you have used any Android 13 based custom, we have the Pixel based Android 13, which is extended edition, which means Pixel extended Android 13. The first look hands on is here, and if you are a Pixel based custom lover, you might love this one too. If you want to install this thing, the link is already available in the description. The version which we are talking about here in this video is extended version 5.2 based on Android 13. It has a September security patch, but is the first initial build. Many customs are coming based on Android 13, and this is one of them. If you take a look at the default launcher, etc., yes, it's actually pixel based. So, yes, we have the pixel launcher pre installed, not the modded one, but official pixel launcher, which you already know which other features you have by default, etc. So, we're not going to talk about this thing much. If we move on to the quick settings panel, one thing let me show you. If I turn off the dark theme, you are able to notice the quick settings background has the light background. So, for my preferences, I always love of these things and yes this is what we have if you use a dark theme we will see the dark quick settings background and yes the power menu also has the dark background but alongside with the advanced power menu already included the quick settings panel or the quick setting tiles are just kind of same no additional things have been added if I move on to the settings option, settings UI is of course almost same, it's nothing unique, almost same as expectedly. We have some of the customizations included which I will talk about in this video so stay tuned. And like game space etc is not included but it's absolutely okay. If you want to install this thing as I just mentioned link is already available in the description. We have a PE extension which means pixel extended options where we have some status bar customizations which are quite useful some lock screen customizations etc etc everything is available we'll take a brief look at all those things here as quickly as possible first of all as you just saw some status bar icons customizations we also have the network speed indicator so if you're one of those users who want to use these features in your custom rooms it's already included nothing to worry about it you have the, these options available if you move on to other options like we have the quick quick settings pull down which is quite useful in some cases if you want to pull from the right side or if you want to pull when you have no notifications available so you'll see the expanded quick settings panel which is kind of useful in some scenarios in my case i don't use these features much but if you use this that's already available it also includes a lock screen options which means double tap to sleep on lock screen let me show you what this feature is about if i double tap here my device will go into sleep and yes this is what we have the feature is quite useful i mean all the useful features have been included so it's absolutely fine gesture options unfortunately are just same i mean to hide the navigation bar pill at least this option shall be included but it's not there as i just mentioned as it is initial version so we might expect some new changes upcoming changes in the upcoming month but right now this is what we have in call vibration options are also quite useful and already included swipe to screenshot is also needed and it's already available here too I mean all the useful features which you were looking for are already present only few features are not available here and there and if you watch my previous videos about android 13 based customs there are many android 13 based customs available so now we have many choices if you are eagerly want to install android 13 based customs you can i mean a lot of options are already available whichever you feel comfortable with you can use those things playback control is also quite good some power menu options are present if you want to enable or disable some options from the power menu things are already available these are things available what we have available in pixel extended customization options but other than else as you just saw these are what we have no major customizations but yes it's still good enough i found this room is actually not bad i'm not saying that this is the best room or this is just awesome it's not like that but yes you can consider it it is not a bad choice if you just want to try out something like you want to install a custom room you can if you move on to the security options we don't have the face unlock we don't have the app lock but that was expected too we have the fingerprint option available which was quite good if i move on to the system options gestures we don't have anything extra same kind of options available here and there and these were the things which i just want to let you know and yes as I just mentioned if you want to install any other android 13 based custom rooms a lot of android 13 based custom room custom room videos are already available on my channel 
you can go and check it out you have the playlist available which might be useful for you in some cases and yes installation and etc things are already available on xda search for your device if the room is available for your device it's good if this room is not available for your device yet don't worry it will be available and for more information we have two options available you can check out the xda thread for that particular device or you can find out the updates on telegram channels you have both of these options whichever you feel comfortable with go and try out that this is all from today's short and simple video i hope you like this thing if you like this don't forget to like and share this goodbye